Jeez. <laughs> step punch. <laughs> That's it. Oh it my god, dude, punch. please. Step punch. It just looks funky. So, um, Nat's best angle here. We're, we're going to look at um, a volley here from Roger. And then we're going to look at a volley for myself as well from the other, like from a side, yeah. uh, forehand side angle. So right here, this is where he's making contact. If I draw a line where his racket head is. Slightly open. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I go forward one frame. Yeah. What direction is his racket moving? Yeah. Is it going down? Yeah, down and what else? For, uh... Down and kind of out. Yeah. Is it going closer to the net or further away from the net? Further away. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 So consider this for a second. The ball is coming down into an open racket face. Yeah. And so when that energy hits his racket face, what if the racket going down and back was just because his hand is relaxed. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We've got energy coming in to the open strings. The ball's winning. Firm is a relative uh, mm -hmm. term. Yeah. Uh, you said uh, firm, you know, firm, I don't know if you said hand or wrist, uh, but there's v huge, <laughs> wide variation yeah. in amounts of firmness. Yeah. It's, not, and, it's not hitting the hard shot there. Yeah. Yeah, and he really couldn't because look at how far away from the net he is, yeah. and he's hitting down below waist tight. Yeah. So he has to clear the net. He's got no available court to hit directly into, yeah. and so he's actually absorbing yeah. some energy. Yeah. Who knows like who he's hitting with or how hard of a ball he just struck, but Roger can't add force to this shot because if he adds force and he opens the racket to avoid the net, the ball will just keep going and going and going, and he's going to hit it too far. So what we're um, seeing here is actually a relaxed hand, which absorbs energy, and then his hand continues forwards. Uh, one more uh, line I'm going to draw here. Here's, um, so here's the kind of little chart of uh, racket face, uh, inward uh, ball trajectory, and I'm also going to draw a little circle where his hand is. So we have initial racket head is moving back. What direction is his hand moving? <laughs> forward. Uh huh. Yeah. His hand is moving forwards. His racket's moving backwards, and his hand continues forwards for like a solid what eight inches, six eight inches, something like that. Yeah. So we have this kind of dichotomy of. Uh, uh, racket going back while the hand goes uh, forwards. Yeah. And so this um, smooth kind of guide of the hand yeah. with a relaxed grip yeah. is the secret to having a good net game. So one more quick uh, example of that. Please don't uh, think I'm in any way like putting myself in league with Roger Federer. <laughs> yeah, we need the, the verses right now. <laughs> I want you to watch uh, my racket at contact. Uh -huh. We'll draw those same, uh, those same lines with, there's the, where the racket starts. Here's my hand. And now watch how my hand is gonna move forwards while my racket moves back. And so I'm giving the ball direction while I absorb energy from, so you mentioned specifically like five minutes ago, especially when people are pounding shots at you, the ball is coming fast. Yeah. Um, this skill is what you're missing. Yeah. Uh, that's making your volleys just basically become ricochets when yeah. the ball comes fast. Yeah. Because when you clamp down, and for most players, the faster the ball, the more rigid they, they get. And that combination just sprays the ball all over the place. It should be the opposite. The faster the ball comes, the more relaxed your hand should be. Okay. And so, so now let's go over to your volleys real quick. And so I'm actually going to play a couple uh, 
just full speed first. And I just want you to watch the racket uh, head. So this is, this is very much kind of what uh, Matt was describing, yeah. where if we draw that same, that same line uh, where your racket is, well, it's a little bit tricky because we get the front, uh, the front edge of the racket here. There's no give. It's like a, just a plow, like a sledgehammer, just like plowing right through contact. And, and for me, this is a very classic like punch yep, yeah. uh, type volley. So here's the thing. Yeah. When you're close and the ball is high, yeah. squeeze and go firm. Like yeah. you go absolutely go through it. But nobody comes all the way to Milwaukee to learn how to <laughs> <laughs> learn how to make the volleys when, when you're close and the yeah. ball is at, at shoulder at shoulder height. And you don't get a lot of those like doubles. I mean, your opponent is trying hard not right. to give you that yeah. that yeah. shot. Yeah, we're going to teach you how to absorb yeah. and then use more of your, your body to kind of okay. uh, power the shot okay. so your hand can stay relaxed. Okay. And the other thing, I'm sorry, I hate, I almost never do grip changes, um, but you, this is your, your forehand uh, ground stroke yeah. uh, grip. Yeah. It's a, it's a semi-Western yeah. uh, grip. Your, the big knuckle of your index finger is all the way down under yeah. the, the handle. Um, and that makes it very no stable way. and strong up here. Uh, but when the racket head drops, it's very, it's very flimsy. So it's great for punch, yeah. but anything uh, level or below yeah. is, is really uh, unstable. Okay. All right, Mark, come on up to the, uh, the net, please. And uh, I'd like you to come right up, right up to the net. Um, so your hands are kind of right over the, the net cord. And uh, yeah, can you record right from the yeah, side, please? Like right, right yep. I'd like you to turn to the side and just kind of pretend like you're receiving a uh, forehand volley. And um, you're going to turn to the side about 45 degrees mm -hmm. and just place your, your hand out in front of you, kind of like how we saw uh, Roger, his starting position. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a little more turn. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Okay. And now, I'd like you to just hang out here and relax. Nice, so that was good. Uh, but <laughs> that's really good. Uh, but keep just enough tension that you can keep the racket head up. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toss a ball into your strings. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna have to move the racket at all. Mm -hmm. And what I want you to do is relax your hand as much as possible so that when the ball hits your racket, the racket there, yeah, see, you see the difference between the two? The first one, you, you kind of fought it a little bit. Mm -hmm. I still pushed it, mm -hmm. but you kind of like, you're like, no, go forwards. Okay. And the, yeah, the second one, there is like a, a recoil right. that was smooth and right. it decelerated on its own instead of you fighting it and, and pushing the ball back. Mm -hmm. And so see if you can do that with a, with a ball. Good, nice job. Just let the racket go back. Relax your hand. Yeah, good, that one was better than the one before. What Roger is doing is calculating, I've got an incoming speed of X, I want an outgoing speed of Y, and so wh which amount of firmness yeah. is going to take away the right amount of miles per hour yeah. so that I can clear the net and have the ball fall right where I want it to fall. That doesn't happen with a punch. A punch obliterates that, that ability uh, to be able to do that. Uh, so what you just experienced between, and I'd, I'd love for you to um, uh, quantify. Can you still remember the second to last one and the last one? Yeah. The second to last was a little firmer, the last one was softer. Yeah. Uh, if 10 is as hard as you can possibly grip the racket, mm -hmm. and uh, one is like the ra racket just falls out of your hand, mm -hmm. What number would you give the second to last one, and what number would you give the last one? I mean, I still wasn't, the second to last one, I wasn't gripping that hard, but I would say what would you give maybe a five, four, five, maybe okay. four, and then the second one was probably a, a two. Okay, great. So let's hang out, let's try to hang out at a two. Okay. Come right up to the net for me. And then you'll turn to the side. Yep. Let's see if you can hang out at a two. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. 
Did it feel too? Mm -hmm. It looked good. That looked like a little more squeeze oh, really? uh, to okay. it. Yeah. Okay. It popped back uh, faster. Okay. Good job. Nice. I'll go ahead and show you some of these. It might seem kind of random, but it's good. So you're allowing the racket to go back. And that's fantastic. Honestly, I spent a half an hour this, uh, on, with people sometimes. Like they are fighting so much when the ball comes to their racket. So let's try to hang out at a, a two. How did it feel? Fine. Two? Yeah. Nice. Now show me uh, five. Five out of 10. Yeah. Nice. You see the difference? Mm -hmm. Now show me uh, eight. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Eight. So no give at all. Yeah. And now let's go back to two. Two out of like barely holding on to the racket. Eh, I feel like that was like a four. There you go. That's better. Uh huh. You feel the difference? Mm -hmm. Hang out at two again. Looked a little firmer than that. Did I hit the middle of the strings on the last one? I couldn't tell. You would have apologized. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's because I'm mid. Uh, let's go three. Three. And you're going to hang out at three. Okay. And I want you to um, close your eyes okay. and tell me where the ball hits on the racket face. Mm. So leave the racket steady for me. <laughs> Where did the ball hit? Felt a you, can, you open your eyes and go ahead and point. Like, show me on the racket face where you think it. Like a little more, a little off center, okay. a little over there. All right, cool. Close your eyes. Uh, three. Kind of more on the other side. Good. Yeah. Nice. Your tennis IQ just like doubled. Yes. Yeah. Close your eyes. Three out of ten. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was a little further, it was like, it was like right there. It's on that, I mean, I can feel right or left, it's a little harder. Isn't that crazy that you can, you can sense it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, is that something you've ever been uh, never, aware of before? Never thought of that, doing that. A huge percentage of missed volleys is just from not hitting the middle of the racket. Yeah. And I've watched tens of thousands of volleys get missed, and people say, oh, I gotta bend my knees, or I gotta, I gotta punch it. And the ball like hit frickin' like right here. <laughs> and it's not even like close to being a, a clean shot. And it's a huge part of it. If success or failure um, is based on taking away the right amount of energy, and the ball hits here instead of here, my equation for taking away energy just got completely yeah, bl yeah. blown up. Because the, the force coming off the strings gets cut in half when the ball hits here instead of here. So having that awareness is super, super important. Okay. And you, you had it right. OK, so um, now we're going to take that soft um, absorption and add to it a little bit of forward. With both Roger and myself, you saw the, the racket get pushed back while the hand was pushing forwards. So um, what we're going to do first is, uh, once you make that purple line, your home base there. Yeah. And you're going to set up to the side, put your racket out for me, just like you did before. Uh, I'm going to toss a ball into your racket again, and you're going to let it recoil at a three. And then after the, your racket comes back, you're just going to turn your body forwards and just guide, yeah, just guide the all, racket forwards. All body, no, no wrist. Yep. Yep, yep, right idea. That's it. That's it. Yep. Is that too much? No. Okay. Okay. No, 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 not at all. Yes, good, good, good. Now, here's, this, is, this is really tough. This is tricky because uh, we're trying to keep things really controlled and you know, we don't want you to be overwhelmed or freak out and go back to your old habit. So you're not getting much speed right now. There's not a whole lot of force coming in this way to push the racket back. So we're not going to see the same kind of dramatic recoil that uh, we saw when I was chucking the ball into your racket. But <laughs> so it's still, yeah, this is fantastic. So we draw um, those same lines. Here's the racket head. Mm -hmm. Here's your hand. 
And so watch your hand, it's going forwards while your racket head gets pushed back. That's how you, nice. that's how you melt a volley. That's how you <laughs> melt a volley. <laughs> that's fantastic. That's great. Yeah, and so in slow motion, that's it. It's really not much arm at all. No, really, yeah, it should be, should be more of this. Yeah, when you go back and look at, um, look at Roger, watch, look over his chest starts. Where would you say his chest is facing right now? Um, he's not open, so he's maybe towards the post. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'd say that's about right. Yeah. He's probably about 45 degrees. Yeah. Now, where is his chest facing at contact? Yeah, it's open, facing forward, a little more, not fully forward, but a little. Yep, and now where does his chest face when he's done? Yeah, he's fully parallel he, to the net. Yeah. He just made a 45 degree turn with his chest. Yeah, okay. Nobody ever freaking talks about this. Mm -mm. It's not the arm and the hand that yeah. should be powering the shot. It's yeah. actually the, the core. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the service line and instead of tossing uh, underhand, I'm, I'm gonna feed to you now. Place? Yeah, okay. and your job is to receive that incoming pace, which is gonna be more now because we just like tripled the amount of space between the two of us. Yeah. And your job is to maintain that same calm grip pressure okay. and just make that same turn with your body okay. back and don't, Frank, just don't do anything different is your job. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, nice Mark. I had an epiphany in an airport, just like, it was, this was like three years ago, when I realized that the dropping of the racket, can you play, go back and play that last one again, please, Matt? The dropping of the racket on a good volley is not from chopping downwards, as you were describing before, but it's because the ball is pushing the racket downwards. Mm -hmm. And you just did that perfectly on this volley. Your um, starting trajectory with your racket, uh, yeah, let me see this real quick, I'm gonna draw some stuff. Uh, your, here's your starting point. I'm gonna get all sciency here. Here's, contact, how much of a downward pitch is that? Oh, a little bit, right? Yeah. Now watch this, yeah, watch this. Racket. Look at that. Right, right there. Yeah. Did you try to chop down at the ball? No. But your racket dropped at three or four times the steepness yeah. as where you started yeah. because the ball interfered. Here's your starting trajectory. This is the ball's in influence on the racket. Right. And your, your response here is absolutely perfect. Yeah. Mm. That's a really pretty volley. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And so there ends up being this like <laughs> swoop down here yeah. where you, you start off here, the ball comes in and interferes and it changes the trajectory of the racket. There's a general, um, I guess, belief, which yeah. I'm pretty sure you had walking in here, yeah. that that was a, was a, um, a conscious like move, yeah, effort, move yeah. or, right. or effort, yeah. All right, let's see a few more. I'm gonna go, go back a little further again. So uh, this means a couple things. Uh, a, I'm not gonna be as accurate anymore. You're gonna have to probably position yourself a, a little bit for each shot. Yeah. Uh, but then also B, in order for me to get the ball to your racket, I've got to give it more pace again. Ready? Uh huh. Nice, Mark. That's really good. Ready? That one was it. Can you show them the difference between the last two, please? It's not what I thought it was from the side. 
That's actually the opposite of what I thought it was. Yeah. I did too, to tell you the truth. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought the I last, thought the one, last was like one was squeeze, like, like yeah, so it. tight. I wonder, I wonder how, how we both misread that. But it actually looks longer from the side, uh, a slow. So here's the like final three or four. That's looking really nice. Right? That one looked great. That's how you handle a low volley, yep. by the way. You just made that look real easy, easy. and like casual. With, with the ball down at your knees, which is fantastic. Good job. And here's the last one. So I didn't really turn with that one. Forwards? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of let it. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. You got stuck. I was, I was like sitting back a little. Yeah, you kind of got stuck sideways. Yeah. Looser than I thought it was, though. Oh, here's the last one. Yeah, it looks, I, it's not at all what I thought no. it was going to look like. <laughs> this is why we use video. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> I thought I saw the same thing in real time as you. I thought it, it, was it looked like, like yeah. you, cut, you like cut it short. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. This is gonna be. <laughs> pretty sure this is a real. I mean, real. You remember what we started off with today? Pretty similar pace to what I was just sending you uh, from my racket. Okay. Good. 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 That's nice. Let your hand move a little bit more freely. Yep, good, good. Let the ball win. Yep. Yep. Now, this is the same feed, the same speed. You're starting from the same, the same position. Uh, I gave you just a little more time between shots on the one you just did. Yeah. Uh, everything else on the machine was exactly the same. Uh, but this was uh, th this was you receiving those same balls this morning. <laughs> Step punch. <laughs> That's it. Oh it my God, punch. dude! Please. Step punch. Ooh. Three. Punch. It just looks funky. Let me show you some more from like kind of in the middle. Yep. Just go about thirty seconds. All right, random spot in the, these are the ones you just, you just uh, did. It's the same feed you're receiving. Huh. Good, 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 that's nice. It almost makes the, look like the ball's coming in slow. <laughs> I, I did not. It's the same exact. It's yeah. the same ball, yeah. Yeah. but you are so much more calm right. here. You look rushed on the other Yeah, too. because you're not fighting the ball anymore, you're able to just maintain calmness. And that's how you're gonna make a lot of shots at the net. Yeah. Like uh, the ones you were hitting before had more power and like force to them. Yeah. But the ability to control where it goes is dramatically, dramatically decreased. And this is like layer one. Like you can hit a firm volley with this framework. Yeah. What we've gone over today is like the, the building, the first building blocks, you know, on the, the base of the pyramid. Uh, we'll be able to hit these firmly. Good, good. We have to learn how to just control it first. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't even look like you're trying anymore. Yeah. That's the same ball. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you turn on a cheat code. <laughs> you like put... Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. <laughs> Put it. it yeah, it was a little bit, a little bit forced. Yeah. Um, both of those two, and then you fell back into uh, a more calm. Yep. There you go. That, that was that was real nice. It was super, super relaxed. Making it look easy. Yeah.